Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Tonight I want to take a look at the new features in the voice typing in Google Docs. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, the new features mainly deal with uh, formatting options here. So I'm just going to click on my voice typing here and I'm going to give an example here to see how it works. Welcome to my new video on voice typing, period. New line. There's some pretty cool features. Exclamation mark. New line. New line. So those are just some of the features that I've mentioned before in previous videos, and they've worked pretty well for me and my students that use it too. But now they got some new formatting uh, ones. And I'm, I'm going to show you where you can get the list of them because to remember them all at first will be kind of difficult. So I'm just going to click the little question mark here. So when I hover over it, you can see the question mark comes up and I get a help menu here. What I'm going to do is drag my help menu over to the side because I like to keep it open as I'm using it because as I still learn uh, what are the commands, um, I just like to keep it open to look at them. So this first part, this voice typing, is kind of what I just showed you in the example already. Uh, so what I'm more interested in showing you here is down here, it's the uh, formatting and how to insert different things in here. So you can see there's keywords like saying select, um, and then you say, you know, whether it be select last paragraph, paragraph or select word. As I scroll down, you have your formatting here where you can align or, um, right, you know, right align, center align your formatting. You can make, uh, you can uh, tell it to highlight or you can increase your font size or tell it to pick a certain uh, font size. So I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, playing with a few options here uh, just so you can get an example to start playing, it, uh, playing with it yourself here. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm just going to uh, turn it on here. Insert table five by five. Move to next column. Delete column. Move to next line. Hello. Select hello. Delete. Move to next row. Delete row. Hello. Select hello. Highlight. Move to next line. Video. Select video. Font size 25. Align center. delete table. So I'm just going to stop there. Uh, I just went through a few of the examples, but you can see if you went through that whole list uh, from inserting bullets to removing, uh, and I think if you had certain students that uh, once they understood all the different formatting options that are possible, uh, you could see them working quite comfortably around voice typing. Like I said, it takes a while to uh, kind of know all the commands and learn the commands uh, so that I mean, when I'm doing it at first, I make quite a few mistakes, uh, but each time I use it, I'm just remembering the key ones that probably are the most important ones to have. So anyway, this is a little uh, tutorial on how to use the new features in uh, voice typing. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you uh, think it helped you out here. So I'll see you next time on Teacher's Tech when the next tip comes out. Talk to you soon.